What is going on, YouTube? I'm Survival Boy. Not all my videos are going to be on survival. Some of my videos are going to be on just knives. What to look for in a knife, whether it's hunting knife, survival knife, an EDC knife, which for those of you who don't know what EDC knife stands for, it's everyday carry knife. Which, that's what this video is going to be on, so let's get into it. Let's... I'm going to show you today what I look for in my EDC knife. So, <clears throat> this is my current EDC knife. It's just a case. I'll show you the logo. Focus. So the camera's not going to... You can sort of see that there, I guess, sort of. And it locks. That's what this is. You just push this down to open it. And look at that. It locks. I cannot get it to fold down without pushing this down. So this is a really nice EDC knife. Because it locks. It's a full fine edge. I don't like to carry something that has a partial or half serrated edge. Or full serrated edge. You can choke up on the knife a little bit. But that's not too safe with this knife. Besides, it's small. You're not really going to need to choke up. For a kid like me, it fits in my hand very nicely. So, but the rule... <coughs> oh, yeah. Also, one more thing I like to look for in my EDC knives. It has a lanyard hole in case you want to attach a lanyard. And so... Also, the rule for carrying an EDC knife is it can't be... The rule for carrying a knife concealedly is it can't be longer than the palm of your hand. Because if it is, <coughs> you have... Excuse me. <coughs> okay, excuse me. If it is longer than the palm of your hand, then you have to open carry it. Which brings us into our next knife. I don't know... This knife is made by Gerber. I got this one for my birthday. And it's a multi-tool. This I used to carry this around a lot. Not concealedly though. So everybody would get worried. It's got the pliers and everything. It has a lot more options than a knife than this knife. And it does lock. Like this is the blade on it. It does lock. You have to push. There's one on each side of these. You have to push them down to, op to close the knife. The only thing on here that doesn't lock is the pliers, which are spring-assisted, by the way, so that you can open and close them without having to do anything. It just comes right back open. But it's longer than the palm of my hand, so I cannot just carry this knife in my pocket. As you can see, you can clearly see that you have a knife in there. Easy. And it's big. It's heavy, too. It brings down my shorts a little bit. Where with this knife, my, my current ADC carry, you can barely tell there's a knife in there. It's not going to dig into you. So, that's what I don't like about this, but it also does have a full serrated blade in it, and a saw, too. And then it also has scissors and screwdrivers, so that is one plus of this. But, it's bigger than the palm of my hand, so I have to open carry it in the sheath it came with, which the Velcro is not good, it's coming, it comes undone. After tons of use, you can see that's already coming apart really easy. After quite, after a while of your day, like I've been out hiking and I've lost this because it's come out of the sheath. So, don't like to carry this. This is also a nice knife for an EDC carry. You can put on a lanyard hole through this if you want, that it comes with, or you can take that off and just not have one. It has tweezers, 
And normally on the other side, there's a toothpick, but I don't know where mine is. I lost mine. On the back, it has scissors. And up here, it has a nail file with mixed with a flathead screwdriver and a tiny blade but nothing on this knife locks so if you're okay with that which i'm not too okay with it but i'll do it if it's the only thing i can i, I can carry because i do love to carry this knife it doesn't say what kind of stainless steel but it says it's made of stainless steel yeah, it just says, yep, it's just stainless steel. That's all I know about this blade. And it's small. And it fits in the palm of your hand. I used to carry this, but then I got this knife. And you don't have to go and spend $44 on a knife. Like, this knife is $44. But, I only got this, because I found a good deal on it, non-used, so I bought this brand new for $16, and it's normally $44. So I found an amazing deal on this knife, and so I use this knife here as my EDC knife for those reasons. Also, it's very comfortable, I forgot to mention that. Very comfortable in the hand, right there, that's very grippy right there. Well, that's going to help you on an EDC knife. So. That was a video on what to look for in your EDC or everyday carry knife. Thanks for watching. And by the way, I'm not going to be one of those YouTubers that just says, Oh, please like, share, and subscribe. And comment down below and all that stuff. I'm going to let you choose if you want to do that. I mean, I know you can, but I'm not just going to straight up tell you to. I'm going to let you choose if you want to, sub like, subscribe or comment or share. I'm going to let you choose, judging if you like the video. Thanks for watching.